By this time tomorrow morning, Helene likely will be a category two hurricane and with wind of 100 or 105 miles an hour. So it's 40 miles an hour stronger than what it's at now and likely striking Florida tomorrow evening as a strong category three hurricane before it weakens a little bit more into a category one hurricane, but still inland in southern Georgia projected as a hurricane as it will be making a beeline to the north and likely bringing bouts of rain to our area into Friday. As we step out the door, though, so far this morning, we're in the clear until we do deal with the remnants of uh, Helene later on this week. But as we open up our morning to the north and east, anywhere from Warsaw towards Walton, Kentucky, up to the north, that's where there could be a couple of sporadic showers and a rumble of thunder. And that's also where there is some areas of fog persistent, anywhere from Madison, Indiana to Frankfurt so far, right along U.S. Highway 127, making a way uh, towards the north and east of us. Temperatures, though, sitting in the low 60s from Bedford towards Paoli and in the metro we are hovering in the middle 60s and later today likely seeing 77 for a high temperature. There will be a little bit of some sunshine, but I do think most spots will be staying mostly cloudy all day long today. So all in all today and tomorrow looking to be the quiet days and the drier days this week before we do notice the remnants of Helene making for rounds of rainfall beginning on Friday, maybe even as early as the midnight hour tomorrow night. Notice the first initial bands moving through. This is around midnight tomorrow night and notice Helene bringing a swath of rain that will be impacting us all morning long on Friday and extending into the afternoon hours on Friday. It'll be a bit of a rainy one here. We're going to be watching two to three inches of rain in the forecast along into the south of Louisville. Some spots south of the parkways could easily be seen three plus inches of rainfall when it comes to Helene uh, drifting her way into our neck of the woods. And I do want to mention wind gust speeds will be very strong. We're going to be noticing wind gusts in excess of 30 to 40 miles an hour at times. This will be some very seriously strong wind, folks, something we haven't seen in quite some time. So Friday is the day to be marking for strong wind and all day rain, heavy rain as well. We'll see a few more showers into the weekend before next week. We do see some patches of sunshine.